the rays of the tropical moonlight broke into pieces rocking on the waves. Here, in the middle of the Caribbean Sea, the breeze brings the sweet smell of blooming lemon trees and burnt sugar. A quick sniff of the air was enough to know the islands are not far away. They're like green, twinkling, scattered emeralds in the sea, and you could feel on each of them that the other one will be more unspoiled and intact than the previous one. It's an ideal home for Robinson Crusoe. Paul Monette starts his novel Havana with these lines. The atmosphere and the natural beauties of Cuba have also inspired others to write poetic lines. It's enough to think of the revolutionary poet Jose Marti and, of course, Hemingway, whose spirit follows the traveler all the way wherever he goes in the country. A long, narrow peninsula reaches into the sea 140 kilometers from Havana and 20 kilometers from Matanzas, and it separates the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. It's Varadero, the world-famous resort of the islands, which was a popular destination of vacationers and foreign tourists even between the two world wars. In the 1950s, American businessmen invested here, having hotels and casinos built in this way. A hundred thousand Americans arrived here to relax and soak up the sun. Life was great. Champagne and rum flowed, cigar smoke was abundant, Caribbean music with its spinning rhythm wafted over the beach and on stage, Cuban girls danced in bikinis decorated with feathers. Millionaires had their luxurious villas built here. Then, politics intervened, there was a revolution, and the relationship between Cuba and America is strained yet today as a result. The peninsula is closed by a barrier. Here, only taxis or hired cars can enter, so tourists can have their holiday without being disturbed. The breeze blowing from the sea moderates the tropical heat. The hotel rooms are, of course, air-conditioned. Cuba gives tourists from former East Bloc countries a chance to re-encounter their past, as if they were taking a trip back in time. At the markets, we can buy mainly wood carvings and pottery as souvenirs, but cigar boxes equipped with a vapor meter, original machetes, maps drawn on leather, and paintings in bamboo frames can also be had. A sort of American traveling monument of the 1950s are old timers, and although the most can be seen in Havana, they also add color to the panorama of the city of Varadero. Don't be surprised if somebody starts the engine of his car with a crank. The ignition key may have been taken away by the American owner of the car 40 years ago. The markets are full of scale models of these cars made of wood, ceramics, or paper, but of course we can also find small barrels of rum and musical instruments. <laughs>